this is my ROM review for Mix Shifted G version 1.2 by the Mic team. Uh, that's A A A McCum A McCam. Probably butchering his uh, his name, but uh, he's uh, one of the developers from the Mic team, and they developed this. I think it's originally for the Evo, and they just ported over to the Evo Shift. But it's a really awesome ROM. Um, um, there's its a uh, boot screen. It's pretty dope. Now this has actually a lot of mods on it, though. It's not just the. Uh, this is a, initially based off of the uh, the official OTA gingerbread OTA for the Evo Shift, but it has, as you can see, it has like a lot of Sense 3. Point, it's actually still Sense 2.1, but it has like a lot of Sense uh, 3.0. Uh, features such as the lock screen, as you can see, whoop, and the uh, 3D Rosie. Let's see that again, and everything on the lock screen works too. It's um, as you can see, you can bloop, phone dialer, or camera. Yeah, um, and considering the fact that it has uh, those kind of attributes from Sense 3.0, it's actually a really quick ROM. I was actually really surprised. Um, in order to make Rosie run a lot faster, though, through this crazy 3D stuff, um, you actually have to change uh, uh, how the resources are set up on the home screen by actually adjusting the build prop. Now you can do that manually using like Root Explorer or doing it through a terminal. Um, luckily, uh, a guy by the name of Tambourine Man 86 uh, created a uh, flashable zip that does that for you. So um, once again, this is originally, this is Mixed to G version 1.2 by the Mic team, but the uh, 3D Rosie was created by a developer by the name of Strap365, who added the 3D Rosie and home screen widgets, as you can see, the usual sense widgets. Um, uh, it does get hung up sometimes, but for the most part, it's pretty stable, um, and it looks really nice. Bloop. And then also, uh, so Strap365 made, Strap365 uh, actually put a ROM, like the full ROM out with 3D Rosie and home screen widgets together. Uh, Tambourine Man 86 created the, uh, <clears throat> the flashable zip that uh, basically improves the response for the 3D Rosie. And uh, there's also a uh, J Kilo. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me correct that. Tambourine, Tambourine Man 86 create, he basically came up with how to uh, make Rosie run faster. Jay Kilo turned it into a flashable zip. And then um, One Love 420 took the 3D Rose, Rosie and created a transparent launcher and app drawer. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see that through here. Let me see if that would help. No, it's really helped a little. Well, I guess it does. See how the Rosie is kind of transparent? As well as the app drawer. Boop. So the app drawer is now transparent. As well as the... When you go to pull up widgets and stuff and scenes and skins and wallpapers. And all that stuff works too. Which is really nice. Um... It's uh, not overclocked or anything. Uh, the MIG team doesn't actually want to, they're not going to overclock it and try to create an overclock kernel of any kind until HTC releases the source code for it. As you can tell, let's go into the settings. Whoops. Um, software information. So yeah. So it's still sense 2.1. But uh, you'd be surprised. And there's the HTC kernel information. So, but yeah, like I was saying, it's super fast. It's pretty quick. Um, the only bug that I've seen for it, and I'm assuming it's because this is basically a port 
from the Evo 4G is the fact that uh, when you open up the keyboard, it doesn't actually change the landscape of the home screen. And I don't know, I know it, it does change the landscape of the home screen when, uh, if you're not using the 3D Rosie, if you're using makeshifted, uh, makeshift the G version 1.2 without the 3D Rosie and without the three, like, because even that still has the 3D home screen, just not the 3D Rosie. So that one does actually, landscape does change when you open the keyboard. But aside from that, I mean, you know, you can go in the browser and it shifts and it changes. Whoops, I'm not connected to the internet at the moment. And that does change orientation though. Yada, yada, yada. Another thing is when you open the keyboard, that light stays on. So you just turn it off by pulling down the notification bar. Bam. Um, so it's worth a try. Um, if, you, if you're into the whole sense thing and you like uh, having sense on there, once again, you can't expect it to be super crazy fast because sense 3.0 isn't meant for a phone with, you know, the amount of memory and um, system space that, like, the Evo, like, that doesn't have the amount of memory and system space that the Evo 3D does or even the sensation. But given the fact that they were able to port this over as a testament to our lovely developers. So uh, there you go. That's my really, really super quick review of Mixshifted G version 1.2. Uh, for the Evo Shift 4G on Sprint. Once again, that is the MIC team, and with mods by Strap365, uh, Tambourine Man 86, J Kilo, and One Love 420. All the URLs for the ROM as well as the um, all the mods will be listed in the summary section below. So, uh, enjoy. Last but not least, what I forgot to mention was also the fact that with Mixshifted G version 1.2, not only do you have the on-off screen animations for, uh, that you'd have on Cyan Engine Mod 7 and so on, uh, you also have this really cool power off animation as well. So you hit power off. And there it goes. And that's Mixshifted G version 1.2. Enjoy.